dentists and doctors are always telling us to brush and floss our teeth to prevent cavities, but how do they happen in the first place? Before we learn about how these nasty holes appear in our teeth, let's talk about what teeth are made out of. Each tooth is made out of three layers, the dental pulp, the dentin, and the enamel. The enamel is the hardest substance in your body. It's even harder than your skull. The next layer is made up of dentin. The dentin is a spongy layer that protects the dental pulp. And the dental pulp contains many nerves and blood vessels that travel into your gums. For people who take care for their teeth, they may have up to 100,000 bacteria living on each tooth. Think of all the bacteria if you don't. The teeth's unique surface and its dark, moist environment makes it a good place for growth of microorganisms and bacteria. Cavities are caused by sugary foods that overexcite a bacteria called Streptococcus mutans, which becomes acid. If you eat too much food containing sugars, this overexcite active bacteria sticks to your teeth, and the powerful acids begin to destroy the enamel, the hardest substance in your body. After a while, very small holes form in your teeth. This process is called tooth decay. If you do not care for your teeth properly by brushing and flossing daily, these tiny holes can turn into a huge problem. Your seemingly miniature holes will grow large enough to break through the dentin and into the dental pulp. This is why you might experience pain or a toothache if you have a cavity. Ouch! It is very important that you take care of your teeth because fillings can be uncomfortable and expensive. And if you do happen to feel pain in your teeth, don't ignore it. Tell someone so you can see a dentist right away before it gets any worse. Taking care of your teeth today can lead to a beautiful smile tomorrow.